Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Life of Wonders. Welcome back to my channel. This is Polo and today, wow, I received this as uh, one of my presents for my birthday and uh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> um, I've been um, looking for this for a very long time and I actually wanted the couple and uh, I can't believe that they're here. These are actually the first in a series that we all know. Um, I actually had a look on the internet and I couldn't find any other video reviewing these particular ones. Um, because I don't know, like I, I also like as as well as sharing this with all of you, I also like uh watching lots of content from other collectors and and I sometimes I feel that uh it's it's how you must feel when you watch my videos. Like I feel uh super super uh excited watching other people um videos and reviews. Um but I couldn't find any for for this particular one and uh, this is the super iconic signature collection from the 90s it was i believe that these two were released in 1997 uh the film was was released in 1991 so um just a few years after and we all know the the classic uh snow white from this series that is just like amazing and i also got that i already reviewed aurora and i also have cinderella which i still have to review and and it's an amazing amazing uh collection an amazing time for um doll making uh these were produced crafted and produced by mattel and i believe this is possibly the um the golden era of mattel and when it comes to disney dolls and i'm so excited that mattel has uh won the rights to to keep producing disney dolls uh from 2022 at the end of 2022 onwards so it's passed now from hasbro to mattel um and i very much hope they come back uh to this sort of quality and detail and collectability because these dolls even though they could be like play line as well it's actually specified in the in the boxes that it's for 14 years and older and they're true collectibles and um and this is again way before disney store released their designer fairy tale the limited edition one so i mean they were pioneering um in this in this sort of way and but as as um this only happened in the 90s there are many princesses that are not covert such as tiana for example and i really can't wait for them to to take over again and quite possibly produce amazing uh new princesses uh like tiana um moana and you know all the prince uh, raya i don't know i mean i really really can't wait uh but anyway here we have Belle and beast and they come in these beautiful boxes um obviously it's been like over over 20 actually 25 years 25 years since the release of these dolls i can't uh believe how time flies really uh but the boxes are truly amazing um they're super cute um they have like this brocade uh damask sort of like pattern all around um obviously the boxes are a little bit uh tatty and you know old even though they've been kept in box um uh I, especially one of the boxes on the inside um stack the sleep on top of the window sort of like display and and it's a bit damaged but i don't i really don't care like even though i love the boxes and i love the cutouts that i'm going to share um with you just now in on the inside uh, but i actually plan to take them out of the box um and it's a limited well this is collector's edition and beast is a limited edition it says um so 
uh, Belle is the first in a series and Beast is the third in a series. Um, and I'm so in love with this series. Anyway, uh, as you can see, the Beast is substantially so much bigger than Belle. I really don't know if you can appreciate it, but this box is incredibly big and the Beast takes the whole box, which is something so amazing because as much as I like the new sculpt that the Disney Store has produced for Beast and I love uh, how the Beast is dressed for the first series of the Designer Fairy Tale and it's one of my favorite Beast dolls. Um, in reality, Beast is supposed to be so much bigger compared to to um, to Belle, and sometimes we are having a similar height to any other prince uh, from Disney Store, it, and then the rest is like padded. But this one has like a sculpt that is just for it for the Beast, and it really is incredibly proportioned and this made me think a lot of my my friend Pandora box uh, from Quickie Crafts and Collectibles uh, mentioned this about um, Ursula from The Little Mermaid. She's supposed to be so much bigger and in reality that's right like the classic doll that we have even the designer doll that we have the, the singing doll that I do have and I shared just a little while ago uh, it's pretty small like in proportion and I feel the same way with the beast. So this beast is a humongous. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's super cool. And then um, we have the enchanter. I mean, how pretty is this? Like, literally, um, it's just super, super uh, pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> um, we have the enchanted rose in an idealized sort of like pink, um, you know, shimmery um shimmering effect and then here we have um the beast holding because at first i thought it was the stained uh glass that that we all know from the beginning of the film but it's actually a whole new concept and is the beast holding the rose so how beautiful is this i mean it's the rose in both in both um cases but here we have it in its original like dome and here we have the beast holding it um in this stained window um so i'm going just to show well there is like a this little opening in which you can have a peek at the dolls which are wearing an amazing outfit as well again without being incredibly over the top ornamented and embroidered and all that which i love but sometimes simplicity is actually amazing as well. I mean, even though they're not simple, uh, but um, but yeah, I mean, it is a like designer, like you know, which again I love. I don't criticize that because I love the designer um, releases so much as well. But this ones is like I can feel that it's even closer to the animation, even though it's realistic at the same time with the other touches. And I love that she will come with a golden dress. And the dress is supposed, I believe that it's supposed to be golden, as opposed to just yellow, which is what we're getting 95% of the times. Um, and in the 90s, the dresses for Belle were mostly golden, uh, for the most part um but then for some reason uh since the 2000 early 2000 it's just like continued as yellow and i'm very excited because um yeah i i love i love her um wearing gold um so i will show you the the box so this is like the as you can see the damask uh floral pattern um shines depending on how the uh, light is reflected um, and then on the back we find this beautiful picture of the I mean it's like a drawing and it's just so so beautiful they're um, so in love it's very romantic and then we have enchanted rose there and um, and then we have a little bit of a um, okay um, a little bit of a um, an introduction about it it's uh it's all in english and i'm going to read it out loud uh okay so it says uh in disney's animated film beauty and the beast Belle taught the beast to love and be loved 
she showed him that true beauty comes from the inside, from one's heart. Now, as Belle as and the beast dance across the ballroom, true love shines brighter than any star. From her long shimmery glows to the delicate rosettes and crystal rhinestones on her golden gown, Belle is truly a timeless beauty. This stunning collector um, edition Belle is first in a series of Disney princess dolls from the Disney signature collection. Each princess wears her signature gown from the classic Disney animated film. And then it says it include, uh, includes the certificate of authenticity, reply card and doll stand. So that is for Belle. And now I'm going to see if if we, I mean, this is just a super big and super heavy box. Um, if it's the same. Oh, no, here we have actually uh, a, a live picture, like a, a true... There's a little bit of damage, as you can see, but again, it's it's super fine. Again, we have to take into account that these are 25 years old already. Um, I, By the way, I just turned 34, which is like, wow. Um, so I was just like seven. I mean, no, seven? No, 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 I was nine. I was nine, okay. Um, so uh, here we have both dolls. And I also like the fact that this coat is really cool. And then we also have Far that right now for the Disney store, which is probably the closest one, um, everything around the, the, the head is coated. Um, and, and it's cool. I mean, it looks like in the film, but I also like the, the, the far sort or of like, um, detail. And as you can see, it's just super wide. Um, you will see it now. Um, and then basically I believe no, it's different. It's different. So I'm going to read it. Uh, in Disney's animated film Beauty and the Beast, the Beast learns to love and be loved before the last rose petal falls. Now, as Belle and the Beast dance under the moonlight sky, their love blooms gently like that perfect rose. Oh my goodness, this is just so cute and adorable. In this authentic fashion from the movie, the Beast is a picture-perfect prince. From this formal tuxedo jacket and golden vest to black velvety pants and special jewel, he's dressed to impress. Uh, this, ma this magnificent limited edition best be sorry, best Beast is that in a series of Disney Collector dolls from the Signature Collection. Each doll wears his or her signature fashion and is displaced in a dimensional setting from the classic Disney animated film. Includes certificate of authenticity, reply card and dot stand um, included, which is super handy. Um, I mean, look at my hand. This is just so, so, so thick. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you first um, how bell is displayed and you can see here like the sort of like damage which i think i mean i might try to sort out uh it was basically because um it stuck with this uh but the rest is just in pristine condition the cutout is lovely i mean we can see the ballroom they're dancing seriously seriously and here we have her uh, the background is gold her uh, dress is like stunning, stunning, seriously, wow, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm so, so, so in love, so that is uh, the um, inner part of the box, or, you know, the display three-dimensional satin for Belle, and here we have the one for Beast, which you can see how big it is, and then it has a sculpted, um, as you can see, uh, feet and hands and my goodness it's reflecting so much but the hands is just so so big which again um, when compared I'm going to show you I mean when compared to Bell it's truly truly proportion and and I also love like the face um, uh, the sculpted face the paint job the fur the horns everything is just so so cool um, again, without being incredibly ornamented, it's a bit more ornamented than obviously the anime, the animation, uh, but it's very, very, very close to it.
So that's there. And then we have this cut out. They're dancing outside the uh, the castle is over here with a full moon um it's just super beautiful so i will take them out of the box and then i will come back with all sorts of details well and here we have them both out of the box they are so amazing i am absolutely obsessed with them now and um i was so happy to see that both of them came with a stand and this stand for the beast is actually rather unique because it's a very big wide stand that has like a bracket um for around the waist which makes perfect sense it makes him stand um really really settled on um any surface and as you can see here you can definitely appreciate the differences um, in terms of proportion uh, like the sizes um, so I believe that this uh, beast is quite possibly the best uh, representation of the beast proportion in regards to uh, bell size um, and he's just so cool i mean he actually has uh, a face in which you can see how um adorable he is in a way i mean he isn't scary but then all the details are there um the face paint job is amazing and then the fur goes all the way round. it has its little ponytail with the bow right over there as you can see and it there is like far all around with a different colored um bits there is a little bit of gel here but other than that is incredibly soft it's like a pet <laughs> and then um he's actually having his um tail as well which is super super big as well and then he has like a little um, metallic um, armature inside so you can position it as you please and um, his paws his hands are incredibly beer big look at those uh, when compared to Bell's um, hands and the outfit is amazing in terms of articulation there is not much um, to it um, so it's more of a I mean being an adult and all um, i mean it's just like for display and um not like playing so much but then uh, the disney store ones do not have like incredibly you know extra articulation probably just like around the elbow that's it um but anyway i mean he's he's so gorgeous i'm trying uh so you can see it all around um and he's wearing the outfit that is just like out of the movie with the bottoms, the um, gold vest, um, the little um, piece, frontal piece here with the jewel. The pants are actually velvet material. Um, then their line, uh, they have that lining on both sides. Um, his stand is dark and it says uh, The Beast uh, Signature Series um, And he's amazing And then moving to Belle She is gorgeous too I'm in love with this dress Again, nowadays it's very hard to find a dress That will have this volume And um, volume, size um, And intricacy to the different Sort of like this really represents so much how the um, dress um, layers in the animation kind of move. I mean, they're static right now, but they appear to be moving like as if the fabric was like, yeah, so, so close to the little um, uh, movements that it makes in the animation. And it's just like amazing uh, obviously it has more um, details than in the animation uh, but they are all super cool as opposed to having uh, glows um, this one is having like a, I mean it's actually it it's not a glove uh, but it's like a sleeve that will go 
uh, from here. Um, and then the only thing I'm not so keen of um, is uh, the, the um, bent uh, arms. I would have preferred like extended arms if we're not having extra articulation there she's having the barbie uh well the, actually the um, the uh, the most common barbie uh sort of like uh body from the 90s um and she's in that position and i would have appreciated more her face is cool i mean uh she looks like barbie in a way but she also looks like a bell, I don't know, and it makes me think of the merchandise when I was a kid because this is what, what was going on at the time. And once again, the Disney Store dolls back then weren't great either. Um, there are dolls that are absolutely hilarious and horrendous at the same time from the 90s coming from the Disney Store. So um, at the time, this representation of Belle uh, was a very very good one. So in the hair we can find this hair piece that actually has a little clutch so it it can be taken off and on back again and her hair is styled in a similar manner as we find in the movie even though in the movie uh, there is a bit of a bun that it's lost here I guess. I don't know if it's just because of time like i i'm not sure if this is like the original or somehow when i was like taking her out i took out the little bun that was created for her her um outfit is just amazing it's all gold it's all gold with different shades of gold and um and it's very close to the animation, but then at the same time, it has more complexity to it. But one thing I love is, uh, again, the shape of it, the volume, the, how um, the fabric creates this sort of like, um, yeah, final effect that we can definitely see in the strokes of the animation uh, from this a specific uh, scene of the movie. Um, one thing that is different though is that um, the gloves are, are in gloves anymore but rather these leaves in gold and um, and so she's she has her hands free but then the color area here like the neck uh, bit is just so intricate it has like a pleated um, effect and then there is this embroidery of it, this flower um that is made out of fabric and it has a rhinestone in the middle and actually every single uh flower that goes all the way round i believe uh well no actually there there are like three flowers here and that bigger flower over there they all have the rhinestone in the middle and then there is this super intricate uh bit of like lace uh all around the bodies that is just so amazing it, it really looks so so amazing it's um it's out it's made out of gold thread um directly and then the the um, top portion of the dress is this sort of like very soft um, wrinkled uh, golden material then there is this gold lace with the flowers and then there's the rest of it and there's actually two layers although the two layers are attached in these um, beads that are are as well very close to the, in the animation there are these wrinkles as well as these horizontal um, sorry vertical lines somehow um and so it's it's very very um honest to the animation then she's having those um yellow pumps and in the goal um um sticker of the base that was provided we can read disney signature collection bell and she also came with this classic barbie from the 90s um comb that this time it's a yellow um color and she's just looking amazing they 
both look so amazing and I'm so happy that they're part of my collection just now and I'm even happier that I'm sharing it with all of you. Hope it's been inspiring uh, for all of you who might be thinking about adding this couple to your collection and hope it's been fun too. And if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit uh, the subscribe button and stay tuned because again, there is so much more to share. So many great things are coming up. For now, I hope you all stay safe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye bye.